A lot of times I've heard, especially from the beginner artists, that their images look flat because the design is wrong or the lighting is not beneficial. Nothing more wrong. Of course, design, type of lighting influence the final output, but we always have a chance to create a great image in each situation. We just sometimes need to use some tricks. I'm Aga from Arvis Artist and today I'd like to show you a great lighting trick that will help you to take your images to the next level. We all know that light makes things visible, as without this we cannot really see anything. Whatever you want to emphasize or eliminate, it's up to you how you show this. And the light is a great tool to make it work for you. Let's say you have your lighting setup done, but you still think that something is missing or that the image looks a bit flat. Today I show you a nice trick that will help the elements in your image to look more interesting and more realistic. This technique is used a lot of times in photography and there is no point for us, for the artists, to miss opportunity to learn from that. So let's start from the example in real life. Look at this armchair. There are different lights in the room, but there is not so much detail visible here. Notice how much better the leather looks when I'm adding additional light to emphasize the details of the material. The texture is much more visible and we can start to see some wrinkles. The effect is much more interesting. This way we can add a lot of realism to different objects, not only to the leather ones. It works really well with reflective elements and the things that have different kinds of wrinkles, imperfections and roughness. I hope it makes sense for you. Now let me show you how it works in software. I will use Corona, but it doesn't really matter because it's not about the render engine, but about the understanding the technique. So let's start. This is the final scene, but this armchair can work much better than it's now. I'll try to achieve a similar effect I've shown you on the armchair in real life. I'll isolate the armchair to make it easier to work on. All existing lights should be turned off. I'll be working on the rest layer. I create the first light. And I adjust its position. You can see that some leather wrinkles are visible now. Let's test some positions. You can observe how different the effect is depending on the light position. This light is too cold. I will make it warmer. Maybe not so much. I try to make the light wider and I'll rotate it a bit. I think it's too intense. Better. I try to make one more light from this side. But first I like to turn off the original light. I like to work on one light in time, otherwise it's hard to know what's going on. This will be smaller and more intense.
Maybe we can change the directionality as well. Something around 0.45 should be fine. I need to adjust the intensity. The occlude other light option needs to be turned off to avoid having shadow from the light. Let's see how it works together. I think I need to adjust the intensity of the smaller light. Hmm, I'm happy with this result. I'd like to add some light from the other side as well, because I felt before that this side is too dark. I'd make this one colder. Let's test some positions. I feel that this will help a lot. I want to try one more thing. I copy the light. I make it red to see it better. Let me play with this a bit. I change the directionality in this one as well. Let's see how this works all together. I like it. Now I unhide all to see how the lights works with the scene. We need to make the lights affect only the armchair. I turn on the other lights. The new lights are too intense now. I reduce the value. With these lights we can see more detail. The material is much more interesting, the wrinkles are visible and the armchair has more shape. We use this technique really often, especially when we want to emphasize some features of the element in the image, like in the previous example. It adds a lot of realism to the image and makes it look more realistic. So don't waste your chance and start to use it to your advantage. 
Okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.